Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we started learning about the connectivity between ExpressJS and MySQL. We established the connection. We also learned about the CRUD operations, which is create, read, update, and delete. This is part 26. Today we are going to learn how to retrieve data from MySQL. So this is part of the CRUD series where today we are going to do the read operation, which is getting the data from the MySQL database. All right. So if you're new here on this particular episode, I would request you to kindly check out the playlist. Uh, I've covered a lot of details from ExpressJS so that it would help you learn and master ExpressJS. Today we are learning about MySQL get connection. In the next episode, we will learn about how to post data, how to create resources. All right. So quick note. MySQL CRUD operation stands for create, read, update, and delete. So today we are going to read how to retrieve data, how to read the data, which is in MySQL via ExpressJS. All right, so let's get started and a quick walkthrough of what we have done so far. So if you remember, we made notes, we made all the um, details of how to install, how to get that connection up and running. And we completed at line num uh, line item 15, which is MySQL CRUD operations to get method, right? So that's what we are going to do today. Uh, so like I said, we'll be doing the get. So what is get method? It will retrieve the data from the DB. For example, getting all the users, getting all comments, getting profile picture, getting a de getting details of a user, etc. Right? Get all records, get records of a certain record based on a condition like for example you can say get me um, details of the user whose id is equal to let's say 10 right so these are some of the examples of get method okay so in the last episode we established the db config where we have the connection the root and the database so let's go ahead and implement that get method today so I'm going to app JS. I'm not going to do anything tricky so that you follow simple and easy way. By default, the express generator has this two routes created users route and index, right? So go to users route and you would see that there is a default one, which is a get operation, which doesn't do anything yet. So we are going to extend this and make it uh, ours. Okay. With our database. So what we are going to do first, go to your database. And you see, I have one users table. So instead you can have create a new table also here with number of columns. So this is purely assumption that you already have some kind of a database. If you don't create one like this, the way I'm showing, uh, since you can just call it name, CID, description, and say um, is active. Okay. Or f I mean, it can have be any, any, uh, username who entered etc. So I'm going to make this column as not null and I'm going to make it primary key and I'm going to make it auto increment which means that will value will keep on adding for the name I'm saying 500 max characters description 500 and username 500 okay I'll save it so display width with out of range for max 225 okay so we need to make it to where care all right so here you go so now you should have our new table which is comments which is empty right now it doesn't have any details so let's quickly insert one for now and i'm going to say this is a test first comment we are l please uh, keep in mind this is a post operation but we will learn it how to do it in the next episode for now since i need some kind of data so i've just put one record which is a test comment all right or I can just do one more just so that we have enough data to work with. Okay. And one last, I promise. So this is test third comment. Okay. So there you go. So we have now three records in our, this table, which is comments table. We see the unique IDs, which is CID. That is our base for working with. All right. So the first thing that we'll do in terms of getting the work, uh, the functionality up and running is first we'll need the database connection to be imported. Okay. So let's do that quickly here and I'm going to call it connection equal to 
now I'm going to say require what is it the file name that we created which is DB config I'm importing the configuration of MySQL which we created in the last episode so once I have that in the get I'm going to delete all of this and I'm going to say get slash comments right if you say slash comments it should give me uh, so here we need to write our query okay so I'm going to write where get comments Q is equal to and here we'll regularly run our SQL commands or queries and I'm saying select star from comments and return me the data now I need to execute this command so we'll use the same connection string we imported and say dot query and here we'll pass the query which is get comments query this one now mind that this will return us if you see here it will say it will return us the callback method okay so it will return us error and the result all right so let's close that here so now we are going to say if error right so console log the error and also respond back and say unable to get the comments okay and if else what you will do is you will just say you can do else and say dot send the result set that we are getting from the backend all right so this is a get command right which is equivalent to select star from comments get all comments so now this should return us all the comments that are there all right so now run this npm run start all right and we are going to use a tool called postman tool right that I explained you earlier in the previous episode as well that if anything for testing we will require that so we're going to use this tool to test okay so by default our application is running on local host 3000 now since we said we added in slash users and in app.js you see it's slash users our path for that will be user slash comments this will be our path okay so our application is up here we can see the message connected which is coming from the DB all right which is in the DB config if you see here all right so which means our ap application is connected it's running now let's test this endpoint so I'm going to go to my postman tool and I'm going to say user slash comments that's the path we have and send so now we see that we are getting this is a first test comment this is second test comment this is third test comment so we are retrieving all the comments which are there in that particular table right but now I'll say that I want a specific comment to be retrieved I don't want the entire thing so that's pretty straightforward as well so copy this entire route copy it here and then you say slash colon ID right so what are you saying here is that you will be passing through a ID okay so now we are going to capture that ID from the URL that's what you're saying here that you're parameterizing it so here we are going to add a condition and say where CID is equal to and you will append it here the request dot params dot ID because that's the name we are going to pass okay so we are going to pass this now when we pass the comment slash ID it will find only one matching result let me show you that now all right let's close it here and again run it npm run start now the comment will be slash one if I say comment slash one see here comment slash ID which is from the request params right and the name of the that processing is ID so it will take it here now you pass it and you get only one comment right now change it here and say I want the second comment or or a comment which has an ID as two so here you see it has the ID one that's why it retrieved only one so then you say comment two now you get co comment which has the details with CID two you want all just say slash comments it will return all the comments to you right 
so this is how you can do get which is get all comments or get a certain detail based on a condition using where clause now you can add multiple where clauses like you can add here and say plus where user ID is equal to this uh, based on some condition that your application may require etc we also have a provision where we can do something like next that means if you want some kind of a middleware that also I'll cover it little later but for today's episode the focus is on the get method now see here carefully that I'm using dot get right so this is the get method implementation in Express.js. We are retrieving the data from MySQL, right? So go ahead, give it a try. Let me know if you face any problems or issues. I am here to help you. All right. And in the next episode, I will cover MySQL post method. That is how do you create new resources via API? That is Express.js. I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. Please do let me know if you have any doubts or queries. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.